Greeting to all of our parishioners. <clears throat> and to those who are visiting, is taken from our mission statement. Our Eucharistic community at Holy Cross welcomes all to faith in Jesus Christ. Our motivation for seeking holiness as a family and caring for, forgiving, loving, teaching, and admonishing one another is that God always does this for us. We are not asked to do what God hasn't already done for us. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Eisman. Father will be assisted by Deacon Joe Placius. Please join in the entrance hymn, number 363, O Little Town of Bethlehem. this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with you today. And with your spirit. Once again we come together to celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we remind ourselves that Jesus must be the center of our life. So let's take a few moments and ask myself and take a good look at myself. Is Jesus really a part, the center of my life? Jesus Christ is born. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Magi visited the Christ. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. St. Joseph took the child to Egypt. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra, terra pax. Gloria in excelsis Deo, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra, terra pax. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Gloria in ex 
to give us the shining example of the Holy Family. Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of love. And so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And now we invite all of our young people to please come forward for their liturgy of the word. Book of Sirach. 
God sets a father in honor over his children, a mother's authority he confirms over his, her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. The song this morning is number 125 in Gather. Number 125, Blessed Are Those Who Love You. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you, blessed are those who seek you, O God. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you, blessed are those Happy all those who fear the Lord and walk in God's pathways. You will find what you long for, the riches of our God. As I those who love you, happy those who follow you. Blessed are those who seek you, O God. Your spouse shall be like a fruitful vine in the midst of your home. Your children flourish like olive plants, rejoicing at your table. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you. Blessed are those who seek you, O God. May the blessings of God be yours all the days of your life. May the peace and the love of God live always in your heart. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you. Blessed are those who seek you, O God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, <clears throat> humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must do also. And over these, over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. 
as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Arshlaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this is my official opportunity to wish you all a Merry Christmas. The Feast of the Holy Family that we celebrate today is a perfect opportunity to celebrate our families in ever how they come. I know those of you with children or grandchildren, nephews, nieces, love seeing the joy on children's faces when they open their presents on Christmas mornings. My five-year-old grandson said something like this, this is the greatest day ever. I agree, but for completely different reasons, which I hope he will come to understand in the future. It is so fitting for us to be celebrating this feast at Christmas time. The family is one of the central units of our faith life. If God is love, and we know God to be love, then we first experience God while we are still inside our mothers. And then when we are born, we are nurtured by God's love through our families. We believe that most families begin with marriage. You may not realize it, but priests and deacons spend and enjoy spending tremendous amounts of time preparing people for marriage. I meet with couples a minimum of five sessions. My wife, Natalie, also helps conduct some of the sessions with the couples. 
Through working with couples, we have come to understand what makes a sacramental marriage. It is sacrificial love, the very presence of Christ on the cross. Everything we do with a couple, either discussing communication or problem solving, finances, children, in-laws, outlaws, goals, everything revolves around teaching the couple and helping them succeed and to make sacrificial love a reality in their marriage. I really enjoy working with couples getting ready for marriage. One deacon friend told me that he likes to ask couples what the three most important words are in marriage. After the couples respond, and most of them respond, I love you, he tells them no. He tells them that the three most important words in marriage are, you're right, dear. <laughs> Actually, we laugh, but that's not much of a joke. Aside from major decisions which, which flow from husbands and wives, together, most often, our squabbles are not worth getting upset over. A person should be willing to sacrifice his or her minor opinion over a minor matter out of love for their spouse. Sacrificial love does not have to involve a major sacrifice. It can be as simple as loving and caring and listening and accepting someone else's view. We spend a lot of time, as you can imagine, with the couples on communication teaching them and trying to understand the needs of the spouse that lie beneath the communication takes a lot of work and a lot of sacrificial love. The spouse that listens not only to what is being said, but to why it is being said is really loving. Another concrete application of sacrificial love of the Lord is simple respect. We tell young people, people couples getting married, to respect each other's individuality, need for privacy, and need for all forms of support. Treat each other with respect and you earn the respect of all who know you. Treat each other with respect and your children will grow up to understand what respect is. You know everyone complains that respect is missing from our society. Perhaps they are right. But respect cannot be imposed upon a society. It flows from the basic unit of society which we believe to be the family. This brings us to our families. When children experience the respect that moms and dads have for each other, then they can learn how to respect others, beginning with their parents. Even if a ch child grows up in a single parent home, if the absent parent is treated with respect, then the children learn to respect both parents. Your children will always be your children, but they are only yours to care for for a brief time. Your children are entrusted to you for around 20 years to help them become the unique reflection of the image of God your love for your spouse united with God created them to be when you nurture your children's individuality, nourish the divine life within them, and educate them to be decent Christian people, then you are respecting them for whom they are. Even if it means that occasionally you are told you are the meanest mommy or daddy or grandpa in the whole world. We do this because we care. Family comes first. We have been told this over and over. St. Joseph is our example. He leaves his country and friends to go to Egypt to protect his family from Herod. You turn off the TV set. You keep garbage out of your home and out of your computer. Set reasonable rules. Wait up for them when they go on their first date and do everything you can to protect your family and children. Your family is more important than any of the lures of this materialistic society we live in. The heart of Jesus is 
The heart of Jesus is your family and should be the presence of Jesus Christ within. We hear it almost every Sunday from Father Eisenman. You must become Jesus every minute, every hour, every day of your lives. This means this is the most important family value. The means for obtaining and nourishing this value, our means for obtaining and nourishing the presence of the Lord, is sacrificial love and respect. <clears throat> my dear friends, my prayer for you this week will be that our families will continue to grow in the love of the Lord throughout this year, throughout this new year that we start this week. Let me end my homily the way that I began. May you all have a very Merry Christmas and Christmas season. And now may we proclaim our faith as we pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. that the family of the church <clears throat> will always be alert and listen to God's call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may cooperate with one another for the good of the entire human family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us, that we may actively promote love both within our families and in the Christian community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that as God shared his son with us, we generously and willingly share our blessings with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all parents may help their children grow in the wisdom and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those in our families who are ill may experience new strength <clears throat> and that those who have died may have eternal life with the Father in heaven, especially John Patrick Dow, and for Mary Fogler, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment and make our own private petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O loving Father, you continue to shower your blessings upon us, and you do this because you love us, with an, in, with an infinite love, which means limitless. We ourselves need to become Jesus so that each and every single one of us may truly reflect your Son, may truly please you. We ask this in your name and the name of your Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please join in the offertory hymn number 372 once in Royal David City. <gasps> Yeah. 
baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that father mom, Jesus Christ, her little child. He came down. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that 
your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and, and, and your peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, <coughs> he has appeared visibly in ours. And begun before all, all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising himself up in all that has been cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call strained humanity back to, back to the heavenly kingdom. <coughs> and so with all the angels, we praise you as with joyful celebration, we acclaim. <laughs> similar manner when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and <coughs> eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of 
the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the
Are there any Eucharistic ministers bringing our blessed Lord to members of our parish family? <coughs> Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to in imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before Kevin gives the announcements, I want you all to know that that does not signify the end of the Christmas season. <laughs> We go till the baptism of the Lord. I'm assuming that just too many angels were sitting there and it just fell down. <clears throat> we are doing a pictorial directory <clears throat> to draw our church family closer together and to create a tool for telling people about our ministries and to celebrate our church. We are now scheduling appointments for photography beginning January 2nd. We chose to do so at this time hoping that family members who are away might be here and be part of the picture, and for those of you who may travel during the winter months. There is no cost to the church and no sitting fee for your family. You will receive a complimentary 8 by 10 portrait and a copy of the directory for your participation. You will be photographed, choose your pose for the directory, and have the chance to make additional purchases in one trip to the church. You may sign up in the Parish Center foyer after all Masses this weekend. Our directory won't be complete without with you. Father Whelan encourages all of you to sign up and have your picture taken. <clears throat> A great deal of gratitude is extended to all of our parish family for their remembrances, assistance, and support of our many activities surrounding Christmas. Holy Cross shines ever so bright because of you. Wednesday, January 1st, is the Solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a holy day of obligation. Masses are Wednesday at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and noon. The Mass of Anticipation is on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Liturgical ministers are still needed for these Masses <clears throat> and are asked to sign up in the Parish Center foyer. Everyone is cordially invited to the Holy Cross Parish Open House next Sunday, January 5th, <clears throat> following the Sunday Masses. All parishioners and friends are welcome to the parish center for refreshments and to stop by the rectory to see the tree. There will be a coffee hour after Mass at the parish center. Please see our bulletin or website at holycrossrochester.org for these and all parish details. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And our recessional hymn will be number 377, The First Noel. Yeah. <clears throat> 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go out to love and serve the Lord by serving all those we consider a part of our holy family. Thanks be to God.